Hello, I'm Elise Buckley Weber, the mayor of the city of Agora Hills with an updated address for you today on June 26, 2020. First of all, and most importantly, our cases have increased. We now have 50 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Agora Hills. That's a significant increase from the last time I spoke to you about 10 days ago, we were at about 38 or 39 confirmed cases. The surrounding cities are increasing as well. 11 counties in California have double digit increases in hospitalizations. The good news is Los Angeles County is not one of those 11. The bad news is, is that Ventura County, County, which is right next door, is one of the 11. So please be careful out there. Later today, we have our weekly call with the Los Angeles County of Public, Department of Public Health, and we'll get a further update as we do weekly on what to expect and what's coming down the pike. Feel free to follow up me on Facebook. If you search on Facebook for Elise Buckley Weber, city council member, you will find me and that's where I do most of my daily updates if I have something. So that's a good place to go. Since my address two weeks ago, nail salons, personal care establishments, bars, wineries, and breweries have all opened up with restrictions. So please go to the county's website before you go to any of those establishments just to know what to expect. That website is www.covid19.lacounty.gov. As you know, our eating establishments are now open but at limited indoor dining capacity. The council unanimously supported an urgency ordinance to help our restaurants temporarily increase their outside dining capacity. Uh, my fellow council members and I in the last 10 days have hit about 50 of our eating establishments just to let the owners and managers know that the city is there to help them. This is a way that the city can help by temporarily lifting our restrictions on outside dining and we're happy to go to the site and work with them one-on-one -on -one, which is happening. So we're excited about that. We've had a lot of fun and we just want our eating establishments to know that we are there to help. Last Wednesday, the council unanimously supported an urgency ordinance to assist our retail establishments to expand their capacity. Right now, their capacity is limited to 50% of how the number of people who can be inside the store. So we've come up with some ideas for them of putting tables out in front of their stores so that they could sell their wares out there. There's a couple other things with temporary pop-up um, shopping stalls so if you know somebody or you have a retail establishment in the city of Agora Hills please contact Romero Adeva our director of community development his email address is r-a-d-e-v-a -E at c-i dot agora hyphen hills dot ca dot us. Mr. Adeva is ready, willing, and able to help you come up with some creative ideas to make sure that you expand your capacity at your retail establishment. And remember, please shop and eat locally. Not only does it help our local businesses, but for every dollar you spend, the sales tax helps the city of Agora Hills. So thank you with, for that continuing the good job you've been doing. The Conejo Chamber continues to accept applications for $2,500 grants for, from, for small businesses, 25 people or less. The city donated $30,000 from our CARES allow, allotment to the Chamber's Small Business Relief Fund for Agora Hills businesses. Your business does not need to be a member of the Conejo Chamber to apply for this grant. So please go to their website, www.conejochamber.org and apply for one of their grants. They're there to help all of us. As you know, the Agora Hills Calabasas Community Center is closed due to the COVID-19 virus. During this time of closure, the center is creating a new business plan and restructure of the center. If you have any suggestions, please email them to Brianne, B-R-I-A-N-N-E, at ahccc.org. Also, the center's fundraising arm, the Community Center Alliance, is looking for members to work with them on fundraising strategies. 
If you can help with this effort, it would be greatly appreciated. Please contact Brianne, again, Brianne at ahccc.org. For years, the city has thrown a party at Shumash Park the Sunday after the 4th of July. For obvious reasons, we can't do that this year, and we will miss all of you. Nevertheless, we have two celebrations in which you can participate. The first is that we have a 4th of July home decorating contest. We want to see your festive decorating for the country's birthday. So decorate your patio, your balcony, inside your house, your front lawn, whatever you want to do. You're going to take a picture of it and you're going to send it to us. And there are actual prizes that we are giving. One of them is an eco prize for the most um, environmentally friendly decorations. And there's several other prizes. The prizes are gift certificates to local businesses. So it's a win-win for everybody. Uh, the guidelines are on our website and the deadline for sending us a photo is July 4th. Winners will be announced on July 6th. And I just wanna add that this is not just an effort for the city of Agora Hills, but the entire Conejo Valley is doing the same, the same celebration of July 4th. So get out your, decor your, your decorations and, and let's have some fun with that. The second way to celebrate is a virtual art display. We did something similar on Earth Day. What you'll do is you'll, you'll paint a picture, draw a picture, any size, anything you want to do. You attach it to the front window of your house or your front door, take a picture of it, and post it on Instagram at hashtag Agora Hills Together. That's hashtag Agora Hills Together. Again, the details um, of this fun event are on our website at the city. It can be a picture of fireworks, a flag, anything that symbolizes to you uh, what July 4th means to you. So get out your art supplies and let's see what you can come up with. As many of you know, our city manager, Greg Ramirez's last day on the job is June 30th as he moves on to become the city manager of the city of Camarillo. On Wednesday night, the council unanimously appointed our assistant city manager, Nathan Hamburger, to become Agora Hills' next city manager. The five members of the council are a cross-section of our community, but all of us, after going through several thoughtful discussions and in-depth interviews with Mr. Hamburger, we decided that he is the right person at the right time to take Agora Hills into the future. We look forward to working with Nate in his new capacity. Last week, I was asked what one thing I would want to communicate to the residents of the city of Agora Hills they, that they may not know. So, since I have the opportunity to do that through this video, I'm going to take it, and here it is. I want you to know how hard the city staff has been working during this COVID pandemic. They have liter our executive team has literally been working 24-7 since we closed the city. I know it for a fact because they've kept me abreast every step of the way, and I know that it's been weekends, nights, days, whenever. I can't tell you how much we appreciate that. They have had little time off, and not one of them has complained. Not only have they closed the city, they reopened the city, they spent days and days and days on our 2020-2021 budget. As you can imagine, our revenues have decreased significantly because our revenues come from sales tax, property tax, uh, the occupancy tax from our hotels, and um, there's another source of revenue I'm forgetting, but never, trust me when I tell you they've decreased significantly in the last four months. So we, they, can, they also, during this time, in addition to all of those jobs, which those were full-time jobs in and of itself, they have moved the city forward. They have continued to do the day-to-day -day operations of what it takes to run a city. So if any of them are watching this address, I want you to know that I speak for the entire council when I thank you from the bottom of our hearts. At last Wednesday's council meeting, we had 28 items on the agenda taking four hours to get through. So you can see how hard everybody has been working. Many of our employees are still working at home, but it hasn't slowed them down. So 
I'm going to end today by thanking our council, thanking our staff, and thanking our previous city manager, Greg Ramirez, and thanking our new city manager, Nate Hamburger. And I just want to remind you, face coverings. You're going to see this for a long time on me. I actually love wearing a face covering. I feel like I'm helping people. I'm stopping the spread and I find it very comfortable. This one was made by a fellow council member, Linda Northrup, and I'm sure she'd make you one if you email her. So it's very, very comfortable. All it is, is a piece of cloth. This is so, such, so insignificant to save lives and to stop the spread of the virus. So please, wear one. You've been doing a great job. Um, I'm proud to be the mayor of the city of Agora Hills because you've been so cooperative and just want to say, keep it up. Wear it when you're amongst people, if you can't stay six feet away. Always have it in your pocket when you're out and about. Put one in your glove compartment so you don't get stuck without it. So remember, stay six feet away, wear your face covering, stay safe, and thank you for tuning in or clicking on today. I appreciate it.